everybody! It's Lovely Nails with Larissa and today I'm going to be showing you how I personally put on my Color Street nail strips. It's a little bit different from the instructions that you will find in here, but still very similar. Just one big major thing that you'll find out later. So first I wanted to show you the 2020 Color Street sets. We have Hey Pumpkin, Dark Magic, Bats Amore, Cats All Folks, Night Terror, and Boo Crew. Now you can still find these in my link to my VIP party page and they're still there. However, some of them are going out pretty quick like Boo Crew, when it comes back in, it's out. So if you want them, get them now while they're hot. So for today, I will, I already did pre-pick the Cats All folks to be showing you how to do it. So conveniently, already had one opened. So for per set you find, you will have a nail file, your sets, and a nail prep pad. Now, as I said before, the instructions are clearly written right here, and I will be doing most of the steps, except for the last one where it says file excess. I am a cheapskate, and I use that extra for whatever extra I have on my nails, I use for my other nail on my other hand. Save that money. Okay, so I have already actually filed my nails and then trimmed my cuticles and pushed back my cuticles as you will want to do before you start to get the longest lasting mani you pop possibly can. So to do that, I just get a nail file. I mean, I use this one, but it comes with one anyway. And then the cuticle thingamabob. <laughs> and then a cuticle pusher to push back your cuticles so you have uh, your sets all ready. So now that I already did that, I will do my prep pad. Also, if you hear um, laughing or anything, it's my lovely assistant today, Larray, my sister, who is helping me with this video, as it is my first video, so bear with me, please. So very simple, you just wipe down your nails to get the excess oil off, and then I even go a step above and I wipe my thumb my fingertips, yeah, that's the word, <laughs> just to get everything off. Then you are going to open up your strips, your beautiful, beautiful nail strips. You will see that there are, you will see that there are two strips, but for a mani, if you're only doing one mani, you will actually only be needing one and you won't even be needing every single one of these. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So for every nail strip, every package comes with 16 different strips, as you can see here. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I'm just so excited. <laughs> but um, so you only need one of these. And then for every strip, you just kind of go with your fingernail and see which one you think will fit best. Now I have done these strips quite a few times, so I do already know which ones will fit my nails best. I know that this one is way too big for my thumb, so I actually save this one for my toenail when I do my pedicures also, which by the way, you can use these nail strips for your fingernails and your pedicures, which is awesome. So this one I will be doing for my thumb. This one I will be doing for this nail. This one for my middle. Then actually, let's switch up. And then, I usually do this one for my pinky because my pinky's kind of small. But let's see here, I have one extra. Okay, so I will only be needing these five for both of my hands. Now that is if you don't mess up, and if this is your first time applying, there is definitely a trial and error where, you know, it's very easy to screw up, but don't worry, you have all these extra strips to work around with, so don't beat yourself up, it's all good. So, you always start with your pinky, because as the Color Street Girls say, your tools are your thumbs. So when you're putting the nail strip on and you're ready to take it off, 
rather than filing the excess, like it says in the instructions, you will actually be peeling like this, and then I use it like this. I'll just show you. How about that? <laughs> Isn't that what, that's the point of this video? <laughs> so you, sorry, I got ahead of myself again. You peel the front, then there's another one. You peel that back off, then you have your beautiful nail strip. You just peel this little tab, and then you got your strip. You can place it on. So I like this placement, but it is a tad bit crooked. So I haven't smoothed it out yet, so I can pull it off. Oh, ta-da! And put it back on. Sorry, the angle is a little bit awkward, so we'll have a little bit of trial and error for myself here. Okay. So then you get this. You can just use your thumb, but I like to be very precise and make sure I've got all the angles and just make sure I get it down squished in my cuticle. Make sure you don't have it on your cuticle though because it won't last as long and they will um, peel up a bit. So if you do it like this, it'll last longer. So now you tug and you want to get the excess underneath your fingernail like so. It is seriously that easy. It's ridiculous. So now I have all of this. All of this, can you see? All of this extra that you could just throw away or file off. However, I like to use that for my other side. <laughs> Awkward doing this in front of a camera. I'm so used to doing it just sitting and watching TV. Which also, by the way, is a bonus because it's literally so quick. Okay, I got it where I want it. Sorry, try to stay in camera view. Push down. Tug, tuck, tug, tuck. Extra! Yay! Now I've got two of my pinkies. And I still actually have all this excess. And if you want to be crazy, you could even try to get your other nail. For the my pinky one, I don't really have that much extra. But I mean, save that money, girl. These, you know, they're not super expensive, but these are hard times and they're not cheap. So... Save what you can. Okay, so yes, I like to switch it around. You just do the same thing and you just keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Peel, place. So what do you do if a nail strip is too big for your finger bed? Well, there are a couple of ways to handle that. You can use your thumbnail to just cut it, trim it off. Like, I guess I do have a little bit extra in here. Perfect. Like this. And that'll just completely rip off the extra. It's very, these are very thin and flexible and it's wonderful. So, or you can get a wood cuticle pusher. So, tug, tuck, tug, tuck, tug, tuck. And then just get the extra right here. There, now you can see it. I don't sound like I'm lying. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of a struggle there. And then I have all of this extra. So I am going to use it for my other finger. These are definitely not what I thought they were going to look like. And I'm very excited. Okay. So I'm going to finish these nails off. And we will come back when I'm done. Okay, we're back. As you can see, I finished off these. And so now what you're gonna wanna do before you put on your final thumb, 
you're gonna wanna take your little thing and make sure you didn't have any mistakes, that you've pushed it down, that you, okay. Okay, so we're ready for our thumbs. So for the thumbs, it's just the same as the others, except you're gonna, well, you're gonna start the same, but then you're gonna wanna try to use your thumb your last thumb as least amount as possible once you put on this strip because you don't want it to lift up. Now, if you do use it, I haven't found to have too many problems, but then again, that is what Color Straight suggests. So I don't know if you should go by the newbie stylist or Color Straight. You know, you never know. Okay, so this one you can tell there's quite a bit of excess that we'll ha be having to get off. So it's a good thing we'll still have our thumb for now. Oh, I should have mentioned earlier. So you can peel and take off if you mess up, but once you've kind of set it down, you don't want to peel it off again. It won't come off as easily. So now we will tug and tuck underneath the fingernail. Tug and tuck underneath and tug and tuck. And then you've got your thumb. So I am going to fix this before I put on the other one. Because you can see there's quite a bit of screw ups. This is also where you could get your file once you have extra and just get off the extra on the sides there. I don't know if the camera's showing, but I have quite a bit extra on this flap here. So I just get my thumbnail, like that, and then skadoosh, it's all set. Okay, now for our last thumb, we've got our thing, we've placed it down, nope, we don't like how that looks. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> okay. So we've got this. We've got our thing. And now, if you're worried about the top peeling off this, you could just use this, like your um, thumb print, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> wow, we're very uh, educated here. But I do use my nail. Now you could use this to like kind of go like this. I guess that still kind of works, but I still prefer to just go like this. And then bada bing bada boom. You are just about set. Now let me tell you, it is a quick and easy process. I love these nails so stinking much and as many of my family and friends already know I was already obsessed with nail polish and now this has just completely filled that void now it's just there's no wait time for it to dry well you do want to let it set for they say 30 minutes to an hour now for that they just mean don't be putting your hands in water or anything and so for me to kind of lessen that time and just to make me feel a little bit better, I put on a top coat. Now, the Color Street nail strips do have a base coat, the nail coat, and then a top coat. So, this is not a necessary step. This is just an added to make me feel like, oh, okay, they'll last longer, they'll set faster. But then again, it's not necessary. So, I just do a quick little loop de doop Now, of course, before you do this, you want to make sure that you didn't have any screw-ups or anything. Now, Color Street does actually have another top coat called Clear As Day, where you could just put the Clear As Day top coat on top of this, and it helps it last longer just as well. And bada bing bada boom, 
your beautiful nail polish is done in minutes. Now, what do you do with all that excess? We have a whole other thing and then three extra strips from our one set. So what you wanna do is grab the paper that your nail strips came in. You're gonna put the nail strips back in. You're gonna get a flat iron and you're just gonna seal them up. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get all of the air out. What do they call it? Squeegee, probably the air out. And then seal it up. And that will get your nails to last long. Now, Color Street, this is not now, Color Street does not actually recommend this. As the thing says in here, it says one time use only. However, and it does say do not reseal. However, if you want to use these again, I mean, I suggest just heating it up. Some people even just put tape over it. However, I have not personally done that. So I cannot say that that does keep them fresh. But for me, using a flat iron over it and just sealing it up, that has helped them keep them fresh and then I can reuse these. I can get two manicures out of these and a pedicure. And I know some people that are absolutely amazing that can get two manicures and two pedicures with this just this one nail strip set. Amazing. <laughs> so for these, once I'm done putting them in and sealing them up, oh, which you will want to do right away. I should point out, this is kind of important, that this is 100% nail polish, so it will dry up if you just leave it like this. So you will want to seal it up if you're planning on using these nail strips. Now, if you screwed up quite a bit and you don't want to keep them, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you don't, <laughs> then you can just throw them away, of course. But we seal them up and then we put them in the freezer, which actually actually increases their lifetime even further. And it says up to a year. Now that's from other Color Street stylists. Again, this is not guaranteed by Color Street brand itself. This is just my recommendation. So yes, then we are all set. We're all done. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy these color streets. I hope you enjoy color street as much as I do. Thank you.